You know, sometimes you'll have an ex existing structure to put up your goal, but sometimes <clears throat> you'll actually get to put up the pole and the entire structure yourself. So if you have a freestanding structure, which is what you'll have if you're setting it up yourself without an existing structure, you want to first buy a pole or some kind of support to put the backboard and the rim, uh, uh, attach the backboard and the rim to. First, here we have, they use a nice sturdy, thick metal pole and they have it cemented into the ground so it's sturdy. Once you get something along those lines, I mean it doesn't have to be metal, it could be wood. Once you get something along those lines, then you want to buy a backboard. <clears throat> After you get that backboard, you, want to, you don't want to put it up until you attach the backboard first. You want to attach the backboard before you do, the, you do any of these other things. So you try to attach the backboard to make it a little easier. I mean, you could do it after it's already up, but to make it a little bit little easier, you want to attach the backboard with the screws or some type of attaching structure coming from the back. Once you attach that backboard, then it's time to attach the rim. You attach the rim, you place it along the front, there should be holes there. <clears throat> Drill the holes if you don't have any holes there. Square so that the basketball goal is right in the middle of that backboard. <clears throat> Once you get it there and you have it solid, make sure you test it out. Make sure nothing's going to come down. Maybe you want to jump and pull on the rim. And you get that. Once you get that cemented into the ground and standing up, it should be 10 feet high. That rim should be 10 feet. That's regulation from the ground. After you get that up and you put your net up, depending on what type of net you want, you'll have everything that you need to go ahead and start the game. And there you have it, putting a goal on a freestanding structure.